Hey everybody! Welcome to the Digit Gaming Edge 20K series. I'm your host Chris Ball, also known as Presidio Dog. A bunch of you out there are going to be new and have no idea who I am, and that's okay because over the next uh, four rounds of racing you'll get to know me and you'll either love me or you'll hate me. Well, I guess that's being a little harsh. Maybe you'll just like me. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Spend some time together and we'll have a good time, right? So, <laughs> so hey, uh, guess what? We are here and we are at Monza. The cars are actually out on the track qualifying now. So let's get out to the track so we can uh, we can take a look at some of the qualifying going on. So um, the race clock you can see up at the top, when that gets to 10 minutes, uh, qualifying's over. Uh, and they'll park the cars, we'll document what needs to be documented, and then we're going to try to do a race. 25 minute endurance. Uh, for those of you new, thank you for coming to GT Champions to watch this, and those of you who are big Digit Gaming fans, um, we're happy to have you here. So, we're going to be, uh, <laughs> this is basically, this round has basically turned out to be a one make Mazda race for the most part. Still waiting on a couple of drivers to show up. They may show up towards the uh, end of qualifying, which means they'll start at the rear of the field. But, hey, what are you going to do? Um, so, uh, why is Digit Gaming Edge working with GT Champions on anything? Uh, probably what people are thinking. Well, uh, Digit, probably one of the most influential sim racer people out there in Gran Turismo and uh, the like, especially out in the UK, and um, we like to think that we're one of the best, uh, you know, leagues, tournament racing things out in the United States. So guess what we did? We said, hey, how about we support a little series in, uh, in, in a congratulatory sense for your, um, for your uh, 20K achievement? And uh, so that's what's happening. So that's what we're doing. Round one here is, is going to be at Monza. Um, we definitely have some other uh, rounds that are coming up. Um, you can see all the details on our website. Um, but what you're, we're going to be doing is round one is going to be here at Monza, then a, a, a two-week break, and then we're going to be at Spa, then Daytona and Luans, and we're going to be in different cars. So uh, it's going to be loads of fun. Right now, uh, it looks like Mazda is sitting fourth place. Now, Mazda has the fastest qualifying time from the qualifier we did two weeks uh, that ended on Thursday actually and um, he was tied with the number 10 person on the planet so he is super fast the rest of these guys here's the uh, Portugal uh, Bracus and um, there's another one uh, yeah Colado so these guys are gonna be pretty quick so Bracus is in the uh, top spot right now in the Supra now these guys are full out all out uh, racing Right, no fuel saving, no tire saving during the qualifier. Get it out there, get it done. Let's get that top position. Um, pardon me. And uh, you know, it 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 really doesn't matter what your strategy is, except that go fast and faster than everyone else. So that's what everyone is working on right now. My assumption is is we'll see those um, uh, Supras probably sitting at the front of the grid. Uh, but it's going to be a different story come race time. So we're, we'll see how it works. So Mazda in fourth. Romsky uh, currently in fifth. Does not improve his time. Uh, Dia Viper is coming around. He's currently in sixth. Let's see. He's on his... I think he's on a purple lap. Let's see. Does he get the pole? Oh, he, nope. He, he does improve his time up to fourth. Uh, let's see. Who else is coming around to the front? All right. So Medic's already gone through. Mario's in eighth. Joey Cannoli will be coming around. Oh, he's halfway around the track. Never mind. Oh, here we go. The truth comes across, um, proves by one. I'm going to tell you, folks, when we were uh, doing the qualifying all during the week, uh, Digit's been talking about it on his channel for a uh, couple weeks. Um, it was the uh, it was the, the qualifier at um, the lap attack in the group two at Metopolis. Uh, it was the everyone everyone made a million dollars because everybody was going fast but I'm gonna tell you the fastest time we recorded amongst all of those who are participating was a 954.775 which is mad stuff and it's only less than a second it is nine tenths different between first and 15th in this group of people so 
yeah, it's 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 going to be insane. All right, so really quick. So uh, Collado now has come up. He's got six hundredths. Oh, he's got a penalty. That's going to ruin this lap for him. Let's see if Baracus has anything. He's going to come across the timing line. Uh, oh, he's already passed it, so I didn't get to see it. I don't know if he is up or down right now. Boko into third. Dia Viper is fourth. Madsen has actually dropped down into fifth. And it, what's interesting is look at that. Supra. Supra. And Boko is coming across in the... Um, oh, he's going to pit, so uh, he's not going to go out there. So Viper... So this is where it gets a little bit confusing, right? When they go in the pits, it doesn't always keep them in their spots. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, there's Viper. I love all of the um, the uh, the graphics that these drivers have done. You know, we've got uh, our GT Champions logo and Digit logo on the side of the car. We created a number placard, and we created a windshield banner. You can't really see it too well. Uh, that all the drivers uh, have to drive on their cars. So that's fun. Um, and again. Big, huge congratulations to Digit. He actually just hit 21,000, I think, yesterday. Um, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's going to it's gonna be pretty awesome. Uh, he is growing like crazy. Uh, he and I have already been talking. Um, we're going to have um, the, we're going we're gonna to have an opportunity at some point here, during especially during the event, to get on with, um, uh, with Digit and or Mihail, and we're going to talk to him about some stuff and he's got all kinds of really cool stuff uh, going on uh, in his neck of the woods so we're definitely going to try that out alright so Collado up by six, six and a half hundredths uh, over uh, his teammate um, and, and countryman uh, B. Baracus B. Baracus? I want to say B. B <laughs> I want to say uh, Baracus from A Team for those of you who are really old like me uh, the A team was like a big show in the United States that um, had Mr. T. I don't know if I, I think everybody should know who Mr. T is by now. Anyway, B. A. Baracus was his uh, was his name of the show. But okay, Boko. That is Poland. Um, that is the first time I've had anyone from Poland in a GT Champions event. Uh, we've hosted the World Cup here, um, and you can see all the stats for that stuff at gtchampions.com. Um, we had at one point during, not this last season of World Cup, which finished last weekend, but the weekend before, and um, we had 13 different countries in there. It was pretty awesome. All right, Viper has improved up into, is up into fourth. Um, let's just see how this comes along. Um, Boko's really driving that uh, Mazda pretty good. I thought for sure all those Supras were just going to fly right to the top because that straight line speed of the Supra is uh, is definitely uh, better than the Mazda. However, there are fuel and tire considerations. So I love how everyone's going out here. Look at Boko. He went out, he's run all the fuel out of the car. Now he, he gets brand new soft tires to try to get that best time. Now remember, there is a bonus point for the pole position, right? So um, that's going to be something everyone is going after. So Boko is going to look for that. He's only a tenth and a half down. Um, he's on his outlap right now, I think. So I don't think uh, it's going to be a time for it. No, it's not. He's on a he's on a flyer. I don't know where his time is. Oh, he's only up six one thousandths. Man, talk about being close. Viper. Uh, let's see who else is coming through that timing line right there. Here comes Medic coming through uh oh he's on his out lap all right so boko let's see can he improve in this last sector and get onto the front row we shall see as boko comes around the timer's up so uh in fact i need to tell everybody um that qualifying's over so all the drivers need to pull off the track um yep so i think everyone is doing that uh, where's Colado? There he is. He's going slow. Baracus. Everyone's going slow. Tease map is the last one to come around. Um, yep, and Joey Cannoli. So we're going to wait for uh, Tease map. Where's Joey? There he is. So Joey's ahead of Tease map. So he's going to finish his lap here. Let's see what he can do if he can improve from 10th. Joey Cannoli, the ch champion ch uh, winner from Division Three World Cup just last weekend. After 10 rounds of racing with one drop round, he came out the winner. So that is uh, the champion from Division Three. Can he get over 
the 10 spot, he does not improve. And where is T's bat? Where you at, buddy? There he is. All right, coming through. Um, oh, no. Parabolica. Ah! Oh! <laughs> My names are escaping me, folks. Uh, bear with me. In the 4 GT. Okay. All right. Let's see. see. From 6 to... Oh! <laughs> On the final lap, T's bat snags the pole. Holy cow, that was pretty great. All right, let me document this stuff really quick. Uh, I'm just going to take a screenshot of um, of the of the runners. And got it. All right, let me let them. I'm going to have to message them, let them go. Okay, let's see. Got to let everybody know they can leave the pits and ready up. So what that's going to do for us now is all the drivers are able to exit the track, get onto the tires they want to start this race on, and um, and let's see if anybody is out on the track. Everyone's in the pits. Nobody's out on the track. Oh, there's still T-Bap on the track. Um, T-Bap's going to have the pole. So, all right. That's going to be awesome, folks. All right. So 25-minute endurance race. Fuel and tires is crazy high on this one right now. So on this round, the, it's a five times multiplier on the tires, 7x fuel. So it is going to be, um, it's going to be pretty great. All right, let's see. Is everybody off the track? Uh, yeah, it looks like everybody's off the track. All right, I'm going to give everybody a one minute warning to, to get started. All right. Uh, Tease map, the one who made this all happen. Uh, yeah, definitely. There's a lot of people that made this happen. I am not taking any credit for this whole thing coming down. I mean, the only credit I guess um, that I can take is that, you know, I said, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so so there's that. But uh, Tommy Moon and um, Tease Bap. And uh, Madsa and some other drivers were really influential in getting this thing uh, off the ground. Uh, but mostly, I want to uh, I want to big shout out to Tommy Moon because he's been he's been my liaison to all of these drivers from other countries. So it's uh, it's it was nice to have him. So thanks, Tommy. I know you're out there listening. Um, all right, let me get them let them know that we're going to start soon. 25 minutes now. If I try to start this thing and it craps out on us because video games right um we're and we have to reset something we're just restarting the race in um uh we're just going to restart the race in whatever the game does which is going to be by um uh by dr rating so um you know what i forgot to mention um if you've seen all these graphics to here today all of these are done by my boy high pre Julio over at uh, High Pre, um, uh, also goes by Pixteca, um, doing all the graphics for this. I mean, I mean, look here's here's our here's our calendar, our schedule. Look at all the stuff on the website. The boy has got skills. All right, all right. Well, let's get this race started. Um, let me do. Let me do. Here we go. Let me just let him know that we're going. Let me double check that uh, all of the cars are uh, all the way up to number 12 are on the pits. And over here, all the way up to number 12. All right, here we go. Come on, game, work with us. Let's go. Yes, we get the final. We finally get to start. All right, so here's the deal. Red flag will only be called if there is a wreck with three or more people on the, um, on the start of the race, right, on the first lap. And, uh, or if we have some kind of weird... Thing. Okay, uh, I know the camera's not going to cooperate with me, but we're going to start here. It is a false start check, so hopefully nobody false starts. So they're going to be on the brakes, waiting for the lights. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, and hold. Go. All right, now quick, Chris, get out and back in. There we go. <laughs> All right, so Colado gets a great jump. Look at those Supras. Look at those Supras just jump to the front like that. Colado uh, takes off Madsta. Where the heck did 
Tease Bap go? How did he get all the way back into seventh? Oh, the Ford. It's not It's not a great starting car, but look at this group. This is going to, I'm hoping it's tight like this all the way through. Oh, it looked like a Madsta was off the track there for a minute. Uh, where did he go? Uh, where did he go? Did we lose him? Uh, I don't see, oh no, there he is. He's up front. Okay, that was weird. Uh, oh, it was Tease Bap that I thought I saw go off the track. All right, so Madsta does pull up front of Colado. So Mads in P1, Collado's in P2, Boko is in P3, uh, Baracus, look at this, he is right on Mario's case here, looking for that fourth spot, uh, this is going to be hard to call, all these cars, bam, 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 right in a row, um, don't lose the tow boys, who, whatever happens, stay with it, alright, so, uh, Mazda, Collado, Boko, uh, one, two, three, Mario up in fourth, Baracus, who was dang near the pole sitter, uh, into fifth, and the pole sitter, Teasbap, moved into sixth. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure what uh, happened to him there at the start. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of uh, stuff to look at here, really quick. But coming around Parabolica, uh, Mads is going to lead them across to complete the first lap of the race. We have only one th minute 39 seconds into the race, people. So there's plenty of racing to go. All right, let's see. We're going to see Mazda trying to break that toe. Collado says, uh, let me take some of that straight line speed I got and use it to my advantage. And into P1 he goes. Mazda, I don't think he's going to pass him. I bet you anything, Mazda just follows him and tries to stay in his toe and save some fuel because this is a hugely important fuel race. Boko, six tenths back of P2's. Got to stay up there with those guys if he wants to be in that slipstream or they're going to drive away from him. Tease Bap up into fourth around Mario, and he is only one second behind Boko. So if he can get up to that slipstream train, uh, he's going to be doing pretty great. All right, let's see. Mario in fifth. Viper in sixth. Baracus dropped another couple spots, so he's down to seventh now. Um, struggling a little bit there, but he's, he's getting there. Romsky in eighth. The truth uh, in ninth. Um, and he's got, who's that right by Joey Cannoli, right? Yeah, there's Joey Cannoli from RWB. Um, if, if I seem a little biased about saying, hey, how cool is Joey Cannoli? Well, he's my teammate and has been for years. Uh, we're good friends. And uh, so, yeah, that's Joey Cannoli from RWB Racing. The only RWB driver to make it there. Um, let's see. Uh, Southern Slayer is in 11th and Medic is in 12th. So um, now... We see what they can do. They've got 22 minutes, uh, or just under 22 minutes, to finish this race and uh, and make it on fuel and tires. So, uh, if you're wondering why I'm not showing you what's going on on the bottom of the screen, um, it's because typically we just like to keep that stuff a little bit. I'll tell you what tires they're on, but I don't want to give away their fuel advantages and stuff because that's not fair, right, to the other drivers. So, uh, Collado on the soft tire, Madsta on the soft tire, Boko on the medium tire, and hanging with these guys. That's fun. So, Boko is on the medium tire, uh, and Teasbap's on the soft. So, that explains why Teasbap's able to uh, get back up to this group. But look at that. Uh, Boko keeping up with those guys. Viper on the mediums, Baracus on the softs, Mario on the mediums, Romsky on the soft. So, soft, medium, soft, medium, soft. And then medium again on Joey Cannoli and medium and soft and medium. So there, I said him. Now you have to remember him. <laughs> but yes, that Ford will be coming for them. Um, the, the, I think the definite OP car is the Mazda. I'll, I'll tell you, I have ran several 25 minute practice races with these guys. And um, it is very particular what car you need to run in order to make this work. Uh, I'm going to be really surprised um, that Collado is making this work um, with that uh, with that Supra. He's he's actually handling his business pretty well. So, Madsen P2, Boko still right there, and Teasbap's in the mix. Um, it's a full, th almost three seconds back to the next group of cars with Baracus, Viper, and Mario's just outside of that. So that's a little two-car slipstream. And then uh, Mario's got Romsky with him. So what countries do we have here? We got, uh, that is, I want to say that's Portugal. Uh, 
uh, New Zealand, Poland, Canada, Portugal again, the UK, uh, that is uh, Australia. It looks like, good golly, it's like five in the morning out there. All right, uh, Poland, Australia, the United States, Canada and the United States. So that's your that's your lineup. Got a few, ooh, Madsta gets a little pushy with T-Zbap and T-Zbap goes around. T-Zbap needs to wait, he's gonna have to wait all the way through. Look at that long line of cars he has to wait for. Oh, that sucks. Um, well, uh, we'll have to see how that goes, right? We, uh, we're gonna have to see how that plays out. A uh, Colado up 2.3 seconds on Boko. Um, Mansta falls to third after that little uh, that little incident. So Boko gets into P2. is still there, keeping an eye on things. Uh, but that's pretty crazy that Boko is making these moves and running with these guys, and he's on the inferior tires. So, woohoo! Um, all right, let's see. Uh, Brackus uh, is up to fourth now. Uh, everyone basically moved up a spot uh, because of that uh, spin. So, sorry, T-Zbap, buddy. <laughs> um, there's a lot of drivers here I just don't know. Um like almost all of these. I know like three guys that are in, three or four people in this race right now. Um, so that's awesome. I love having digits, uh, subscribers out here having a good time. Uh, let's see, let's check in back here. Teasebap is going into the pits. Interesting. Okay, we are on uh, lap four and he's going into the pits. I wonder what that strategy is gonna do. He doesn't need tire and fuel, so um, I don't know what he's doing. He's not doing anything, so it seems like maybe he realized that uh, that he, he can't compete or something. Um, I don't know. Okay, so Colado up front. Mazda has gotten around Boko, so now Mazda's back in P2. So this battle for P2 is pretty uh, is pretty good. Baracus is still back there with Viper in tow, um, and there's a. Um, I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna call it slipstream. It's not. There's just. There's just four or five cars that are all really close to each other. So, whew, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Digit Gaming is in the house. What's up, buddy? Nice to have you here. Uh, so we've got uh, everybody uh, kind of spaced out. It's now the um, the time where everybody is just going to try to get to the end of their first stint and make the fuel work. Joey Canoli is. Kind on the slipstream side of truth, um, there is a possibility that he can get something done. Um, so we'll see if that goes up. But let's let's do this. Where's Collado? Let's go on board with Collado for a lap really quick while he's racing around. I'll try to keep an eye on any spinning blue triangles. But um, but yeah, so this will be a, a lap on board with uh, with Collado into turn one momentarily this is just flat out all the way through the turn um, uh, I don't know all my chicane names people I am um, I'm kind of a uh, an uncultured swine <laughs> when it comes to knowing track names but uh, sh chicane number one folks right there that's how you do it he went right he went through there just right now this is this is a fun like double right hander with a little space in between, you like all the way up and then back down and then do it again. And then it's that long run all the way to the bridge and just floor it all the way down and then into Ascari. Ascari is the penalty and car eater on this track. Um, you you gotta get that one right. And uh, the MR cars have a little bit more of a dicey time getting through Ascari than I think the FR cars do. Um, but uh, there he goes. And uh, heading on down to Parabolica, there is the penalty zone for those who may get one. Um, so far, top eight still looks pretty much the same. But anyway, at about 150 to 100 on the brakes and down into third. So clearly he's faster than me because he broke way later than I do. <laughs> and all the way across the uh, start finish line. So that is a lap with uh, Colado. Uh, who is leading this race by 2.3 seconds. Madsta has finally gotten Boko out of his slipstream. Um, maybe there's a little bit there. I mean, that time is coming down. 
So maybe uh, Boko is getting some benefit from that or just got a better exit out of Parabolica. I, I don't know. Um, definitely, Baracus has slipped way back. 2.83 seconds now. Everyone is kind of split apart by about a second and a half from each other. So uh, nobody's, nobody's playing nice. Maybe nice isn't the word. Nobody's working together, it seems, to, um, to save fuel. Um, but that might be because none of these people are all on the same team and don't know each other. I thought Joey Canoli was going to hit Truth right there. But Joey Canoli uh, is dead in that slipstream spot, so he could get up there and push Truth if he can catch him. <laughs> and uh, maybe they could push their way up to 8th or 7th. We'll see how it goes. Um, Medic kind of out by himself. I think he had a challenge uh, early on. Uh, same with Southern Slayer. So... Um, T-Smap's car is broken in the pits. They're not repairing it. So uh, that is uh, going to be... Uh, an, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, Colado's lost about a second to Madsta. Um, why? Uh, did he do something wrong? Or is he trying to save some fuel? Um, most of these, most of these Mazdas will probably stay out and finish eight laps. Um, and, uh, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I wonder how this is gonna, I wonder how this is gonna work out for... Uh, Boko when they pit and he puts on the soft tire because he's keeping up with these guys on the medium so my guess is we're going to definitely see um, this uh, this going on um, oh, Mazda throwing some serious rocks into the windshield of Boko but holds it together going to get through this corner without losing too much time um, he got a pretty good exit but right there, yep, he's, ah, it's hard, hard to tell, but it looks like Boko is definitely in the slipstream there. So that battle for second uh, is going to go to the end. So uh, we'll have to see how that plays out. Into Ascari goes Colado for the last time on this stint and on the soft tires. He will have to switch to the medium tires here when he pits because everyone's running out of fuel. No one's going to get at past lap eight. Uh, Mass is going to go on to the mediums, and Boko is going to go on to the uh, to the softs. So, Colado and Mazda, who are on the soft tire, are going to switch to the medium tire. Boko is going to get that soft tire, so that's going to be fun. Baracus is going to be uh, out onto the mediums, and Viper, who's behind him, currently on the medium, is going to get to the softs. So it's going to be interesting to see how all this goes. So into the pits is going to go everybody. There's not a soul. I don't care how good you are at saving at fuel, you're not you're not in this division running and and staying out there. So let's see, let's get up to Colado, who is first in the pits. He's getting his tires done, fuel going into the car. Madsen in P2's already got his stuff done. Romsky into the pits. Everyone's getting stuff done. All right, let's keep an eye on Colado and Madsta. Let's just see if there's any undercut that takes place here. It's so quiet on the track. There's not a car on the tarmac anywhere. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, Medic is still out there in Southern Slayer. Okay, there are cars. I was like, what's going on? They already pit. Uh, they pit last lap, so uh, we'll keep an eye on them. Um, Colado coming out. Who else? Oh, look at this. Three in a row. Oh, look at that. And Boko undercuts all of them. Four cars come out in a bunch. Oh, it is on now. Boko in front on the soft tire. Colado on the medium tire. Madsta on the medium tire. Oh, somebody cut the pit lane. Oh, Madsta cut the pit lane. Oh, no. Okay, that's a three-second penalty. That's going to hurt bad. Viper is like, I'll just hang here. I'll, I'll get that spot in a minute. So in they go. And Romsky is going to get that spot away from him, too. I imagine um, he's going to lose out to probably Baracus as well when that when they get to that penalty spot. So Colado back up front where he started on the medium tires. Got a little damage to the rear of his car. It'll fix itself soon. Boko on the soft tire in P2. Mazda going to serve that penalty here after Ascari. 
Um, oh, look, there's an, there's another one back there. So Viper has a two-second penalty for something. I don't know if he hit somebody or if he uh, or what happened there, but... Whew, okay. Um, there, oh, Vi yep, Viper's got a two-second penalty. Um, so let's see. Here goes Mazda. He's going to hit that line. He's going to move over and stay to the right. And on the brakes he goes. He's going to lose that spot to Romsky. He's going to lose it probably to Viper because Viper does have had a second less. But look at that. Look who goes flying by. Barakas flies right past them both up into fourth. All right. Hey, it's not over till the fat guy s says it's over. So <laughs> that's me, by the way. Um, anyway, while we're while we're watching things happen up front, um, and again, welcome everybody. It's nice to have you here, especially to all you new folks. Um, oh, Boko's making a move. He's going to be on the soft tire. Is he going inside? He's not. Okay. Um, it's nice to have all you Digit subscribers uh, here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get the alerts when we go live in two weeks with the next round, and then the week after that, and the week after that. So there's just the four rounds. Um, and I'll just I'll bring them up here really quick just so you can see them. So these are the four rounds. So uh, we skip next weekend because it's uh, Thanksgiving holiday in the United States. And then we're going to be at Spa in Group 2 cars, uh, Daytona in the Radical on Street Soft Tires, and then we're going to Le Mans so in the Group 1 cars. That's going to be so much fun. All right. So Romsky now sitting in the podium spots, but there is a slipstream chain behind him. He's all alone, but Baracus is leading this whole three-car pack. And with that straight line speed of the Supra, he should be able to drag these two uh, Maz Mazdas. Mazda. Oh, that's a tummy. He's going to drag these two uh, RX Vision cars um, behind him if they can stay in tow. It looks like Viper might be... He's there. He's just not as much there. Uh, so Mazda... He's going to push him. Yep. Smart. He's going to push Brackus there. He's going to push them all the way up there. All right. So uh, your top three currently are... Well, number three is going to be under attack here in a few minutes. There's Look at that. There goes a, down under the two-second mark. Baracus is getting pushed. Look, look, watch this. I guarantee you Mazda's pushing him. We're trying to. Yep. He's like, let's, let's get up there. Let's get up there. So they're going to close in on Romsky down to 1.3 seconds. Viper needs to stay closer. He's losing that toe that Mazda and Baracus are running. Baracus is like, yeah, push me, bro. That's all good. Let's get there. Mazda, meanwhile, is going to get to save some fuel in the process. So uh, this will be interesting to see how this uh, plays out. Uh, let's see. Viper is definitely... Oh, no. And chicane number one has claimed yet another victim. And a half-second penalty is going to kill him. He's going to be all by himself after that. Mario um, has got Truth not far behind. Looks like Joey Cannoli's lost that... Uh, that slipstream train that he had before the first stint was over. So let's see. Let's take a look up here. Barakas now only three tenths. Yep. So Romsky, Romsky, you're in trouble, Bo. Now, I guess a couple things can happen, right? Uh, Barakas gets up there. Oh, is that gonna be? That's not gonna be a penalty. But oh wait a minute. Who had the penalty? Oh yeah, Viper. And Viper is gonna slip away. Maybe he can get back up there. So close. He's got to get up on there. Get up. Oh, okay. So Mazda goes for the move. And inside on... Um, uh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Parabolic. <laughs> uh, I, took a, I, took my, uh, uh, I took some medicine this morning because I woke up and my shoulder was still killing me. I might be just a little bit out of touch with reality. Just a little tiny bit. <laughs> All right, so Romsky now is... This is a four-way battle for P3 right now. Uh, Boko is just kind of cruising around behind Collado. I have a feeling he's going to try to save some of that fuel, um, and he's on the soft tire. So maybe he's going to wait and just follow Collado around, save some fuel, and go for that, that lap, lap battle. So, Oh, Madsta, one-second penalty... 
uh, probably cut through in chicane number one and uh, did a little bit too much. Uh, that's going to hurt. That's going to move Baracus and Viper back up. So, like I said, this thing is far from over. Actually, it's really close to being over. It's only oh, it's going to be over in 4 minutes, 45 seconds. <laughs> uh, whew, okay. And so now Mass is going to slow down. Romsky's going to get some breathing room. Let's see, can Baracus get around? Uh, Baracus is going to get around him because that's like hard on the brakes for a full second. And Viper moves up. So Mazda back into fifth again, um, which is probably not where he wants to be. Romsky's, uh, well, he's, he's doing okay. He he's just has to survive. <laughs> he's got to survive four minutes and ten seconds. But there's like a whole crew of hungry dudes right behind him just waiting to get there. Uh, so uh, Portugal, two drivers in the top three right now. Momentarily, here goes Viper, and Viper is going to go inside and up into the podium places for the first time this race. And Viper now in P3, Baracus in P4, Mads is still in five, but he is right there near. Oh, did someone just go off? Oh, Mads went off. He outbroke himself. He might. Oh no, no, not a two-second penalty. Oh. Man, he just cannot, he just can't make it work. Wait a minute. Boko, oh, we lost Boko. He disconnected. Oh, and then Joey can only spun in the back and almost got taken out by, um, ooh, somebody was just, who was that? That's sitting, going so slow on the track. I don't know who that was. I'm so confused. Hold on. Uh, somebody was spinning around back there after the first chicane uh, or for the double right-hander. I forget when, whatever that long straight is towards the bridge. Um, Baracus uh, knee deep in Romsky's toe. I'm not using those body parts uh, anatomically correct, but you get my drift. <laughs> so Romsky in P2. Uh, he's seven seconds behind the leader. I don't see that changing in the next uh, you know, two and a half minutes. Uh, but what I do see happening is I see Baracus uh, making a play. Here it goes. He's going for it. And Romsky goes to fence. Uh, okay. That was um, kind of weird. So there was a move that I, he, Romsky went to the middle and it almost didn't look like um, it didn't look like that was going to work out. Let's see here. Late on the brakes goes Baracus. And up into P2 goes Baracus. Uh, wait, look back there. All right, so Romsky, who is on the medium tire. Uh, what is Baracus on? Okay, all top three are on the medium tires. Mario is on the soft. Okay, folks. He's on the soft. Uh, we still have uh, two minutes and 30 seconds left, right? Uh, no, a minute and a half. I'm sorry, a minute and a half. Um... This is probably the penultimate lap for most of all the cars. Colado, he'll come across with, um, yeah, so when he comes across the line, that'll be the white flag for him. So Colado probably going to take this, uh, probably going to take this win. Um, and, but Teasbap does snack, uh, snack? Yeah. He snags the, uh, he snags the fastest lap. And let's keep an eye on this one. Let's see. This is the battle for the last podium spot. So let's see if um, uh, let's see if that gets anywhere for them. Okay, uh, something's happening with my gear. Stand by. We're gonna keep an eye on this battle for P3. Let's see what happens here. This is the final lap, so we, we're not gonna we're not gonna lose this. But. Um, Hang on. Come on, buddy. I can't believe that Baracus went through all of that work and got disconnected. I hate that that happens. That, that's one of the most frustrating things. All right, inside. Oh, Romney's getting a little bit. Romney is kind of like, whoa, truth was flying through there. What was that? What? what? And then it reset him. Mads is there to, uh, to make some stuff happen, but... Um, 
All right, so Collado heading down to Ascari right now. To, he's going to take the win. Um, Baracus is going to end up in second place for sure. Now it's just what happens with these three, right? Um, I guess we'll have to. I guess we're, we're going to have to just see how everything goes. But uh, and we're going to talk to these drivers after. So make sure you stick around. I'm going to get them into a, uh, a Discord chat and see if we can talk to them. Um, but. Colado, round one at Monza, the first ever Digit Gaming 20K series with GT Champions comes across and takes the first uh, win of the season. Congratulations, Colado. Way to go, buddy. So that's that's one down. Baracus now coming out of Parabolica just now. He's going to come across and get P2. Congratulations. So Portugal takes up the top three spots. Romsky survives and grabs third spot with Madsta in fourth, Mario in fifth, Joey Cannoli, and then De Truth. That was all really, really fast. <laughs> I tried. To, I tried to catch it all. I tried to catch it all. Um, Viper is coming through uh, out of gas. Viper is out of gas. All right. So, uh, Colado gets uh, P1. Barakas in P2. Romsky comes home with a top three finish. So good on you. Good on you, man. Madsta comes home after some crazy antics and gets his uh gets himself a p4 mario's in p5 so yeah so far uh so far so good who's left uh we just have to wait for the timer to run out so what i'm gonna do is really quick i'm gonna document this for uh for everybody so let's see fifth place is deep is mario i'm documenting really quick just in case we can't save the replay so stand by folks Joey Cannoli gets all the way up to sixth uh, after some shenanigans somewhere. The Truth is in seventh. Uh, Viper is in eighth. And ninth is going to be Medic. Where are you, Medics? I can document you. Um, tenth is going to be Southern Slayer. I don't know why T-Zbap's car is showing out on the track. That's weird. But there we go, folks. Uh, let's get let's get rid of this. Let's 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 give the guy let's give the guy the full the full show here so there we go congratulations uh Colado on a win that's awesome let's go see if we can't find um let's go see if we can't find these guys for an interview so uh hang on a second while i sort a couple things out i'll be right back talks amongst yourselves <laughs> okay hang on there. Okay, stand by while I go grab these guys for an interview. Hang on. I will right, see if anybody comes in there. And let me message them in the game just to let them know as well. Um, stand by. And I think there was some confusion by uh, some folks. Um, it almost seemed like um, there was a there was an issue where people thought we were doing a formation lap and maybe that's why somebody didn't get a good start um the formation lap would was what we were planning on doing if we had a lobby crash or something to try to do uh something there but um we didn't have to do that so all right let's see i don't have anybody in here with me yet um let me try to get them in here uh I guess what I can do is I can play you a little music so you don't have to sit there and be um, completely bored. So hang on a second. 
Well, I don't think that either of the podium finishers can meet us here on Discord, so that's kind of a shame. I was really, I was really excited to to have that option. Um, so for for now, let me let me see if this is going to work out for us. So this is the unofficial results of the race. Um, ignore those last few parts; those drivers didn't show up. It's just the way that our system, you know, pulls the data in. Um, we have all the drivers listed, and then we list them in order how they finish, and they didn't finish, but I have to, they have to be in there. So, in any case, um, so uh, Collado, Barakas, and Romsky grab the podium spots, so uh, that's good on them. So, uh, this is round one. This is also, uh, this would also be the uh, unofficial standings right here after round one of where everybody is in the series. Of course, we have um, stewarding to do, just to make sure. Uh, I know there was a couple incidences, I incidences that were uh, that were on the track, so we'll see if those would get reported. But, folks, um, what fun! And we actually uh, we're not broadcasting it, but we have two more divisions that are going to start. The next one starts in about ten minutes, and then the next one will start an hour later, um, so that they can do what they got to do. So. Anyway, that was a lot of fun, folks. I really appreciate you guys coming out and uh, and and watching. Uh, we'll be back in two weeks to do the next round. So uh, as it happens, uh, I'm going to take off. Thanks for coming by. Remember, like and subscribe so you know when we're doing this again. All right, see you, folks. <laughs>